and this is Pam and today we are in Mexico City wow. <laughs> so please stay watching this video till the end I hope you enjoy for Mexico City but a technical stop was planned for breakfast at a traditional Mexican restaurant El Herradero located at kilometer 37 of the Mexico Tolica Highway with a traditional atmosphere and dishes typical of the central Mexican region he we find various options for eating from different stews, tacos, soups, quesadillas to handmade pilicón tortillas and the traditional pilicón coffee I order a taco of Vitla Cocho, which is a dish made from an edible grey fungus found in corn and also a mushroom soup and some coffee pot with piloncillo. It was so delicious, really. We've just eaten in El Herradero, a traditional Mexican restaurant, and now we are going to Mexico City. So let's go. called Distrito Federal in Spanish is the capital of the Mexican Republic. In the 19th century, the Englishman Charles Joseph Latroff called it the city of palaces because of the impression caused on him by our architecture. This amazing city is located in the Valley of Mexico and it primarily rests on what was Lake Texcoco. On this occasion, we went to the Basilica of Our Lady of Guadalupe, the most important Marian sanctuary in America and the second most visited in the world, only surpassed by the Basilica of San Pedro in Vatican. The first structure of the old basilica was begun in 1695 and it wasn't finished until 1709, when this basilica became dangerous due to the sinking of its foundation. A modern structure called the new basilica was built next to it between 1974 and 1976. It is a circular building constructed in such way to allow the cloak to be viewed by those inside. And according to the tradition in 1531, an aspect of the Virgin Mary, Our Lady of Guadalupe appeared to San Juan Diego Cuauhtlahuatzin, an Aztec convert to Roman Catholicism, and she told him to build a church at the site, the Hill of Tepeyac. But as the Spanish bishop did not believe Juan Diego, he asked for a miracle of sin to prove the Aztec's vision's authenticity. Our Lady of Guadalupe then sent to Juan Diego to gather flowers. Miraculously, Spanish roses bloomed right at his feet. When Juan Diego presented this to the bishop, the roses fell from his apron, and an icon of the Virgin was miraculously imprinted on the apron. Outside the circular building, there is a blessing module where the Father blessed people and Catholic symbols and also sprinkles holy water. And now we are going to Xochimilco. It is a famous and tourist place located in the Mexico City. And that was all from La Villita. There is a duty bus. A lot of people go in there. And it's a good option if you want to um, to know the city with a professional description from a guide. You know, to the bus.
on the way to Sachinilka, the driver of the van got lost and we took several laps around the city until a duly identified tour guide on the bicycle offered us his help to show us the way and we followed him until finally we arrived at one of the piers of the area. in Xochimilco is primarily the colorful landscape of trajineras with names of women that meets the eye. There you can buy traditional wooden toys and some other crafts. internationally known by um, system of canals and uh, the ecosystem. It was declared a World Heritage Site. Xochimilco consists of the 18 neighborhoods of this city along with 14 villages and is known for its canals along with artificial islands called Chinampas. It attracts tourists and other city residents to ride in colorful boats called trajineras. The journey in a trajinera lasts on average two hours, and during this it's possible to see small boats with full vendors, food that is already prepared to cook, uh, from tacos and sopes to mole with rice or cookies. To this place come all kinds of people, families, friends, newly married couples or spring breakers, ready to have fun or rest. <laughs> Other trajineras bring mariachis or marimbas ready to liven up the trip with traditional Mexican music. Also suddenly and on either side of the gondola, boats arrive with several of handcrafts or wooden toys. In Xochimilco is famous the Iron of the Dolls that we could not access that day. Um, however, we could observe some of replicas with some dolls tied in the trees. The Island of the Dolls is the best known chinampa or floating garden in Xochimilco. I will tell you the legend of this chinampa in another video. Such a miracle comes from Nauru and it means flower field. This is referred to the many flowers and other crops that were grown here on Chinampa since the pre Hispanic period.
So it is not surprising the great variety of flora and fauna that exists in this place. Mis tres sobrecitos. Puedes tomarte una foto con una de nuestras mascotas. Tendrán aquí un clavidosaurio. Como para que valga la pena. It is impossible to see camisors as my daddy joke, but we can find axolotls, pelicans, torques, acosiles, and moctezuma frogs. Buzzards and falcons too, because this place is filled with numerous plants and animal species that live or migrate here. Well guys, we have reached the end of the way here in Xochimilco and I hope you come to Mexico and of course I hope you visit Xochimilco. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like Mexican stuff and see you later!